Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at a newly released in 2020 of the Streets of Rage franchise, but instead of revisiting Streets of Rage 4, we go to a fan-made Streets of Rage remake version 5.2. During the days that we wished for a sequel to Streets of Rage in general, the fanbase was pretty much tired and made some amazing homebrew games featuring the gameplay from Streets of Rage. Characters from all over, including SNK's King of the Fighters and more, would make their appearance with similar gameplay but different characters and sprites. This continued until Ultimate Homebrew title of Streets of Rage Remake, which took all three original Genesis titles and combined them into one gigantic game. Very, very curious, I downloaded the PC version of the game with its many versions getting the game right and really had a blast. They would create new combos, merge all three into one game like in Sonic and Knuckles, and added music in the same vein as the popular Streets of Rage 2. Pretty much forgotten when Streets of Rage 4 was announced and released, here comes the next chapter of the remake saga with version 5.2. Not only is the game now playable in full widescreen, there are 15 new tracks with remixes from the original, new visual flair to the older stages, a new intro and ending, and pretty much more balanced game comes one of the best homebrew games honoring and then surpassing the original intent. Being able to play as the original characters of the Genesis, the intro throws you in with a soundtrack that blows you away. Fans of the original will be right at home with a higher quality remix can enjoy them again, but in true high quality than ever before. Visuals here will remind you of the olden days of the 16-bit perfection with the Sega Genesis, but this time not hampered by the size of the cartridge. This game is huge as it tries to put in anything and everything related to Streets of Rage into this beat-em-up from beginning to end. You will quickly be reminded of the old school levels and sound, but now redone to still keep the Genesis look and flair, but push the game further than with the characters on screen, details to the environment and finally making it, of course, widescreen. The characters you play are customizable in their look and color scheme with the same new combinations that will amaze you as well as take your experimentation out on the bad guys. That's where this game shines the most is the gameplay. Not to mess with a good thing here, they merely added more things to expand on the gameplay itself. If you want the next gen looking Streets of Rage, we got that with Streets of Rage 4. If you want a diary and complete saga and then an editor's cut, here we have the best compilation of games into one single attempt and also respecting everything about the originals from sound to the visuals and of course its gameplay. This game truly packs a punch and will take you some time to finish as a game you cannot just power through it. This brawler that needs to be taken step by step to truly appreciate what fans in the community can really do when they give it a chance. So happy to see this remake not dead and still improving as version 5.2 indicates. 
Too bad this game isn't picked up by Sega and re-released as a Sega Classics gem. That's it for me on this look at Streets of Rage and the fans who made Streets of Rage Remake version 5.2. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.